Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is about some deep, intense, rich scents that fill the room up when you spray them and have a beautiful sillage. They create this wonderful cloud of scent, the scent that travels with you, sometimes even precedes you and lingers on long after you've left the room. Some of these fragrances may be bigger room fillers than the others, but all things considered, all of these have that room filling an intoxicating trail element to them. So in no particular order, let's start. So the first on the list is Alexandria 2 by Zerjov. Alexandria 2 is this beautiful, intense, woody, ambery, spicy, powdery fragrance with some aromatic lavender, oud, the perfect amount of vanilla. It's woody, it's powdery, it's sweet and it's musky. It's a warm, fruity floral scent with hints of apple. There's lavender, rosewood, cinnamon, cedarwood, lily of the valley, Bulgarian rose, oud, sandalwood, amber, vanilla, musk. Just by looking at the note structure, you'll feel like this, this fragrance is worth a try. It's a concoction of deep, rich and luxurious notes and accords. In my opinion, it's one of the best rose oud scents on the market. This is a kind of fragrance that claims its territory and announces its presence in a very self-confident way. It's a fragrance for a man who means business, a man who stays cool and calm and collected, but owns any room he walks into. The one person or character that comes to my mind every time I smell this, and that's while my eyes are rolling into the back of my head is Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders. If you watch Peaky Blinders, you'll know what I'm talking about and what exactly I mean. Um, that man, that man means business. That is a man who owns every each and every room he's ever walked into. And if you've ever been in that room in any form or any capacity, he'll own your soul too. He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Thomas Shelby the wrong way. There's no denying the fact that Thomas Shelby means business. And if he wants something, you present it to him on a platter with no defiance. That's what this scent showcases to in a very invisible and yet such present manner. It smells of achievement. It smells of victory and authority. Having said that, success and failure are all part of our own individual journeys and this fragrance signifies a man who knows how to keep his head down in success and chin up in failure. It feels like luxury and it's a luxurious scent that deserves to go on a formal suit. That's how you do justice to this composition, in my opinion. This is not a fragrance that goes well with a linen shirt, a pair of shorts and flip-flops, no. It needs you to be dressier. I'm sorry, that's what I feel when I smell it. When you spray it on, it'll do its job anyway. And that is to that is to add the magic and that charm to your aura. It'll do its job and it'll do it diligently. But then you need to do your part of not being disheveled or scruffy. You need to be immaculate, all spick and span in your attire before you spray it. And that's how you can do justice to this composition. And that goes for a few other fragrances as well. You need to do your part to add that X factor and to do justice to the craft and the artistry that has gone behind them. And in my opinion, you, if you're sloppy when you spray this, it's just a very unfair thing to do. So don't do that. So the amber here feels just like the bottle, dark, rich and ambery, rich, creamy sandalwood and very sexy oud. Oud here is not barnyardy to my nose. It's woody and it's giving this fragrance that alluring edge. The opening is grand and the dry down is absolutely splendid. It's a very special scent and is every bit a masterpiece. Incredible longevity, easy 8 to 10 hours on the skin, maybe more, stays eternally on the clothes until you wash them. There are jackets in my house that smell of this from last autumn winter. The sillage, the scent cloud is to die for. You walk into a room with this on and people will smell it. And someone walking into the room you're in will be smelling and looking for the source of this scent it's that potent without being obnoxious at all despite having a beautifully masculine edge to it it's quite unisex and i love to wear it myself this one and there's another one on this list later on um they're both beautifully masculine and yet unisex fragrances and while they smell like power on a woman on a man their power and supremacy with a sexy edge 
that's what this scent exudes absolute power it's quite an alpha male scent to me it brings the alpha male vibe and that raw sensual seductiveness to the table a huge huge love for me it's strong so sample first it's beautiful it's alexandria 2 by zerjoff so the next on the list is tomi ayomi monkey special by zerjoff this is a lively and rich and intense fragrance with bergamot in the opening with a dash of rum geranium this distinct passion fruit it's a super complex fragrance with citrusy and boozy opening but it transitions into this warm spicy dense fragrance with so much going on with so much substance to it there's cinnamon there's patchouli bulgarian rose and such beautifully sexy and sensual leather the base is a rich blend of smooth sandalwood tonka bean ambergris vanilla, labdanum, and musk. It's sweet, warm, spicy, caramelly. It's woody, boozy, balsamic, and ambery and musky. You need to like patchouli to like this, and you need to like strong and potent scents to like this. It's a nighttime, fall, and winter fragrance that's deep, dark, mysterious, and seductive with an incredible potency in the essence and strength to fill a room. And a full sillage, the longevity and projection are amazing. It lasts for 10 plus hours and projects beautifully. It's a kind of fragrance that's very obviously rich in character. Um, it's a well-blended, perfectly balanced and a high quality fragrance, which is, um, which is super strong but isn't offensive in any way. It's a unisex scent and smells sexy and seductive on both men and women, but lean slightly masculine. It can be polarizing, but not because it's unpleasant in any way, but because it's a really potent and a very long lasting fragrance. So you'll need to like your boozy notes, your leathery notes and patchouli to like this fragrance. But even if you're not into those notes and accords, this one here is so, so worth a try because it's a kind of fragrance that may, that may change how you perceive these notes. No single note or accord here is dominating more than the other. It's so beautifully blended. It's not an excessively boozy fragrance. It's not a very leathery fragrance. It's not too rosy. It's not overly patchouli fragrance. The whole composition in totality is just heavenly. And when all these notes come together and are blended together to make this beautiful concoction, it's absolutely and flawlessly divine. An absolute masterpiece, in my opinion. This is Tony Iommi by Zarjov. So next I have is Oud for Greatness by Initio. It's the most enticing and the most addictive blend of warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, musky, woody, earthy notes. It's an Oud scent that has the most pleasant Oud, in my opinion. It's an Oud that even the people most sensitive to Oud can happily rock. It's a complex blend of saffron, nutmeg, lavender, oud, patchouli and musk. The oud here is not funky or animalic or barnyardy in any way. It's pleasant and smooth, the most elegant, the most likable and the most crowd pleasing oud. It's a perfect, perfect choice for a date night, whether it's the first date or the 10th date. It's beautifully masculine and yet totally unisex. I love to wear it myself. But as I mentioned earlier, this is also one of those scents that smells like power and authority on a woman. But on a man, it brings the aura of absolute power with a sensual and seductive edge. There's a very faint, very distant leather coat, perhaps from the saffron and also some faint tobacco in the background somewhere. Adding to that, the, the seductive charm of the scent, um, it's a well blended, high quality and powerful scent but not in an offensive or cloying way. It's airy like Baccarat Rouge. Having said that, it does give off some Baccarat Rouge vibes. It's seductive and it's addictive. It's a phenomenal scent with absolutely fantastic performance in terms of both longevity and projection. And it leaves an intoxicating scent trail. It's a beast that smells incredible and garners compliments. And it's quite versatile, works with a leather jacket or a formal suit. An intensely strong fragrance and yet so smooth and airy with a wow factor, also giving off alpha male vibes. I'm sorry I had to say that. It's sex in a bottle for me. Um, it can easily be love at first day for many people. It's that good. This is Oud for Greatness by Initio. Next I have Santal Austral by Mathieu Premier. Santal Austral is a stunning, stunning fragrance. It's a 
beautifully creamy, woody, powdery and glorious fragrance that's an absolute room filler. It's a glorious fragrance with a loud opening and a creamy smooth dry down. It's not a very complex fragrance. It's linear in nature and has a rather simple note structure, but it's an insanely good one and has a very addictive quality to it. Sensual white woods, organic sandalwood oil from Australia, creamy velvety facet with almond milk, iris, benzoin and tonka bean. Lasts on the skin easy 8 plus hours and fills up the entire surroundings with this beautiful cloud of sandalwood and projects like, like it wants people to be aware of its presence. It's a must try if you like sandalwood and if you like woody fragrances. But sample first and give it a full wear test. Um, if you end up liking it, it's a keeper and a compliment magnet. Simple but with great performance. One of my favorite sandalwood fragrances. Smooth yet so powerful but in a very airy way. The whiffs that you keep getting throughout the entire wear are the best part of it in my opinion. And it's an absolute and totally unisex scent. This is beautiful. This is Santal Austral by Mathieu Premier. Next I have Carlisle by Parfums de Mali. I love this fragrance. This is my top, top favorite Parfum Jamali's fragrance. Um, it's green apple, nutmeg, saffron, tonka bean, rose, osmanthus, divana, vanilla, patchouli, a poponex resinoid. I've said this before in my sense for Suits video that it's a stunning fragrance that smells of money. It opens with a blast of green apple and nutmeg. It's warm, it's spicy, slightly woody and sweet with a touch of bitterness. There are hints of musk and tobacco. Saffron is rather subtle here and apple and nutmeg are more dominant. There's also a prominent presence of tonka bean with some rose osmanthus, which is adding that velvety, soft, honeyed, apricoty, peachy feel with a touch of very subtle, fuzzy suediness. It feels a little intensey as well. The tonka bean is pretty dominant in the heart, but as it dries down, the vanilla kind of takes over with patchouli. The dry down is this delicious, sticky, resinous, vanilla goodness. To my nose, there is also a very subtle, very pleasant and a very sexy tobacco which could be coming from nutmeg. Again, um, as I said last time, to me, it's a dark and sensual and a very mysterious scent which feels very rich, very deep, very intense and very potent. It's a very high quality, elegant and a very classy kind of fragrance that deserves to be used with respect. A composition like this commands respect and you ought to give it its due. It's a sophisticated composition, perfect for a special occasion, an important business meeting or, or a formal dinner date when you are dressed up to impress. This is your secret weapon to add that effortless charm to your personality and to create that chic and sexy and that seductive aura around you. The performance is absolutely amazing. It's an exceptional fragrance that fills up the room in a rather cultured and refined beastly manner not in an obnoxious way longevity and projection are incredible this is carlisle by papam Jamali. so next i have hachivad by nishane it's a citrusy fresh fruity and a woody fragrance with bergamot pineapple grapefruit jasmine patchouli cedarwood clearwood oak moss and dry timberwood it opens with bright lively effervescent citruses with prominent notes of pineapple, bergamot and grapefruit. It's an intense yet fresh scent that stays fresh and green and bright throughout the wear. And even though it's fresh and effervescent, there is substance and depth to the composition. It's a very high quality, refined, uplifting and mood boosting scent that acts as a huge compliment magnet. It's the kind of fragrance that people, when they smell you, they would want to find out what you're wearing. It's a crowd pleasing fragrance and most people will find it quite pleasant and appealing. It leaves an excellent impression on everyone you meet or pass by, whether it's a man or a woman. It's a room filling, long lasting scent that lingers on hours after you first spray on your skin. The performance here is absolutely fantastic with enormous longevity, absolutely wonderful projection and a great sillage. And the cherry on the top is the trail it leaves behind. It's so very full and so very beautiful. This is also one of those fragrances where the scent announces your arrival before you make an appearance. It's super versatile. You can wear it every day. You can wear it to work or to a formal event. It's perfect for all seasons. It's a spectacular composition. It's Nishani's Havshivad. So next I have Flamenco by Ramon Monegal. 
Flamenco is a powerhouse and a very potent blend of fruity, powdery and woody notes. It's a seductive combination of raspberry, sweet jammy rose and green apples with white florals like orange blossom, jasmine and purple flowers like violet and iris. The note structure may sound like it's a feminine scent, but it's a beautifully and totally unisex offering. The raspberry doesn't last throughout the wear, it wears off after some time and the rose takes over. It's a very strong scent that dries down to a very sweet, green, woody, ambery and musky experience. I just spoke about this in my Sexy Men's Fragrances video. If you haven't watched it, please do go and watch it. I'll link it in the description box. Like I've said it before, it smells like candied woods to my nose. Like when you sharpen a pencil or shave fresh wood and then coat it in candy, it's got that kind of candied sweetness with a dry woody facet to it. On women, it's very strong and beautiful, but on a man, it's extremely sexy. It's super seductive and it's addictive. It's a powerful scent that makes a statement. If you're in a social gathering with other people and everybody is wearing some sort of fragrance, this will overshadow them all. This is a kind of fragrance that will get you attention. So if you do not like much attention, spray lightly. Incredible room filling performance, longevity here is amazing with 12 plus hours on my skin and a giant projection. This is Flamenco by Raman Monigal. Next I have Lamar by Kajal. This is one of my top all time favorite fragrances and it's another unisex offering. It's a fruity floral fragrance with top notes of pineapple, red berries, cardamom and coriander. The heart notes feature Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, jasmine, sambac and magnolia. And the base notes are vanilla, amber, cashmere wood, cedar wood and musk. It's an intensely fruity, intensely juicy fragrance with a little tart and sweet opening. The most prominent fruit to me here is pineapple and it's the most freshest, ripest and the most juiciest pineapple. It's actually an overdose of juicy fruits. Not like the fruits in Arbapura. This, the fruits here is not done in the way like they've done in Arbapura by Zerjov. This is something else. It's got that fresh juiciness and to me it smells very different to any other fruity scents in my collection. The fruity notes are very nicely blended with the cardamom and coriander. I can smell the pineapple, some citrus. The rose here is very sweet rose. It's almost fruity rose. I can smell some jasmine, not too much. Some magnolia and beautiful and sexy saffron but not strong saffron, just enough to keep it airy. It's vanillic, it's syrupy, it's juicy, it's ambery with lots of fruits and flowers. It's an absolute room-filling beast mode scent, stays on skin for more than 10 hours, longer in the clothes. It's an incredible fragrance. This is Lamar by Kajal. Next, I have Bakra Rouge by Forti, the extra version by Mason Francis Kirkjohn. I could never do rank list, I just cannot. Kudos to all the reviewers who do rank lists all the time. However, I myself find it very difficult to rank my perfumes in a particular order. And even though this isn't a rank list, BR540 X-Ray is kind of my absolute favorite perfume. I have some beautiful and happy scent memories connected to it from the very first time I wore it. It's a beautiful scent and for me, it's a masterpiece. It's a totally unisex fragrance and an absolute room filler. I prefer the X-Ray version over the regular EDP because while it keeps the original BR540 DNA, it's more intense, it's more radiant, more woody, it's sweet, it's almondy, it's airy. It's got that sponge sugar kind of feel to it. The saffron note is so smooth here. It's warm and spicy, delectably floral, slightly caramelly, ambery, slightly nutty, musky and weirdly addictive. A gorgeous scent which is blended to perfection, crafted to last all day on the skin and project like a beast and leave an attention-grabbing, massive and the most alluring scent trail. It's rich and sweet but so airy and light. It never feels heavy and never gets to the point of being cloying. Yes, it's been cloned like a million times but there is a reason why it's cloned by so many brands. And to all the BR540 haters, I would like to tell you that if ever there is an instance where you have to wear it, whether willingly or unwillingly, for whatever reason, while you're busy despising it, you are smelling absolutely amazing and irresistible to people around you. We are 540, the extra version. So the last but not the least is Anone by Pantheon Roma. 
Anone is bergamot, saffron, mango, iris, white mask, amber, nagamota and oud. It's a fruity floral fragrance with mango with a twist of oud. It's warm, kind of tropically, but spicy, woody and very elegantly powdery and musky scent. The scent here feels very luxuriously and lusciously fruity with ripe fruity notes. It's got the freshness, the brightness and airiness and yet there is warmth to it with which makes it beautifully rich and deep. It's a well-blended and a sexy and attention-grabbing kind of fragrance with excellent performance in terms of longevity and projection. This one also gives some BR540 vibes, but it is its own fragrance and ventures into many different dimensions during the entire wear. So it's not a dupe for BR540. It's a perfect nighttime or night out fragrance, party wear with powerful room filling quality. It's a delightful but test before you buy kind of fragrance. This is Anone by Pantheon Roma. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what room fillers do you have in your collection in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.